Okay, uh, I'll make a quick video about calculating volumes. <clears throat> Some of you guys out there, you have to pay items. They say plan quantity, whatever, but sometimes they still want to know the calculations and stuff. So we have to do that. So I'm going to start with, say, a, a, a drill shaft, straight shaft, say like a slurry shaft. You know, for example, um, slurry shafts are what they they look like cylinders, huh? Pretty much. I mean, you know, the auger go down and twist up in there like this and bring all of the material back out of there. And they fill it up with concrete. And after they fill it with concrete, it dries and you got a rebar coming out the top of it for, you know, they use this as a foundation. So the rebar comes out the top and they put a column on it or a footing on top of it or cap it with something or found some, something else is put up there. That's why you always see when you see a drill shell, you see these rebars coming out of it, right? But, um, that's the reinforcing that you know that that catches the next part of the uh, the foundation for this for that uh, structure. Okay, so I know this is not the perfect cylinder, but let's say the diameter of this drill shaft is 36 inches. Okay, so it's 36 inches. Let's say it's 50 foot long. Alright, so it's 36 inches, 50 foot long. So how do you get the volume of concrete you need for the, to place this uh, drill shaft? Okay. So we don't know the exact volume <clears throat> because they not they don't drill exactly 50 feet. It might be 50 foot 2, 3 inches or 50 foot, 50 foot 6 inches or maybe they drill 51 foot. Then along the sides of the drill shaft you might have, you know, uh, you know, imperfection in the soil. Like, for example, you might have an area where a void might open up, and then it might take the the shaft might take more concrete than it's the, the radical design it, you know calls for it to take. So you need to convert to get the you. To get the volume of this, first we need to convert the 36-inch diameter shaft. We need to find the, the area of the surface of the top of it, okay? So we need to take 36 inches and convert it into feet, okay? So 36 inches is 3 feet, right? You take 36 and divide it by 12, you get 3 feet. So it's 3 feet. That's the diameter, okay? So coming across this plane and coming across here you got three foot in that direction three foot in this direction so to find the area you go three times three times pi divided by four the area at the top so that would be a equals three squared times pi divided by four okay and then that gives you seven point zero six eight feet that's the area of the top of the circle <laughs> you know the top you know so, because this thing is going to go by what the area of this here is every square foot of it is so it's it's you convert it to square foot by the way so that's 7.068 square feet just the top of your shelf okay so you got this part now what's the length of it the length is 50 right so you multiply that times 50 but we also want to get the volume of it in cubic yards so it's the the uh the square feet of the top of 
the shaft is 7.068 times the length of the shaft. The plan length of the shaft is 50 feet. Is 50 feet times? I'm sorry, not times, but divided by. Let me let me get rid of that right quick. But divided by 27. 27 is uh, 27 cubic feet in every cubic yard of concrete. That's the theoretical value. So you take that number here, which is the area of the top of the circle, or the shaft, by the length of the shaft, divided by 27, and that gives you, say, volume, and it'll be like T volume or whatever. That's going to equal 13 point zero eight cubic yards and that's it okay so that was a call trying to come through but that's it so you see what we did there we take the top of the shaft which is 30 it's a 36 inch diameter shaft by 50 foot Okay, so we take the top, we we say 36 inches across the, its diameter. You take it that and you divide it by 12, you get three. Three feet. Okay, so you take three foot. I'm trying to find the area. Area equals three squared times pi divided by four. And that gives you the 7.068 square feet so you take the 7.068 square feet multiply it times 50 which is the length of this shaft divided by 27 and the volume of, it will be 13.08 cubic yards so <clears throat> realistically in the field you're doing this work and the contractor, and this happens out here. <laughs> That's why I brought this up. The contractor orders 15 cubic yards for the shaft. Okay, so the testing technician, he gets, you know, a couple of cubic feet to run his tests. They waste some on the ground. You don't get all of it out of the concrete truck it is kind of like peanut butter whoever empties a complete jar of peanut butter I think that's almost impossible even with jelly you can't do that unless you're washing it out in the sink with soap and water but <clears throat> it's the same thing so the theoretical volume for this concrete for this drill shaft here this 36 inch by 50 foot shaft is 13.08 cubic yards. However, he orders 15 cubic yards and he still doesn't have enough. Now why? Remember we mentioned the voids in the sh in the shaft, right? Sometimes instead of a shaft being straight up and down like this, I know this ain't straight up and down either. But sometimes you might have a shaft that's like this you know on the walls of the shaft you know so it's a you know stuff falls in cave in or whatever so you might that's a shaft like this is going to take more than a shaft like this even if it's drilled both of them drill 50 feet even 50 foot in in length even you know so that's going to take more concrete or it could be that if you look at the weight tickets or whatever remember we on another video we talked about um, yield it could be that the the scale weights at the concrete plant is not yielding what they you know what they say on the ticket you know so that could happen all kinds of issues but if the design if this is the design right here 36 inches by 50 feet designed by the engineer and the, the drilling contractor comes out and drill that it's 36 inches in diameter and is also 50 feet deep exactly 
then we should be close to 13.08 cubic yards and not 17 cubic yards. So if you know, I'm going to leave this video, I'm going to post this to YouTube, but anybody that has a question on this video or could explain why something like that happens, besides what I've already mentioned, please feel free to leave a comment.